ਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰਲੂ ਦੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਡੋਰਥੀ ਮੈਕਬੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈ ਮੇਅਰ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ आवर ਸ਼ੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਅ ਪਲੇਜਰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਫॉर ਦ ਓਪਰਚੂਨਿਟੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਮੇਅਰ ਮੇਅਰ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ ਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰਲੂ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੈਂਟਡ ਅ 3 ਈਅਰ ਬਜਟ ਫਰਮ 2024 ਟੂ 26 so what is there in the budget for the residents of waterloo yeah thanks uh, thanks for asking um so waterloo we do our budget process a bit different than most municipalities Be- most municipalities do a one year budget we do a three year budget um and so it allows us the opportunity to to look ahead the three years so that we know you know staff have a have a really good sense of what projects and directions this the council wants to go and so it gives us a lot more flexibility um in terms of timing of projects and when we can how we can tender projects and get sort of better pricing on some things so that's one of the reasons or a few of the reasons why we we do a 3 year budget um but this year you know like municipalities across the province um very it's a very challenging um financial situation we know for our residents for our businesses for um our academic institutions in our in our city um and so we worked really hard to bring the tax rate down to um as great a degree as possible while also still being able to provide services and programs um that the that the residents in our community have been calling for uh mayor uh property tax increase so how yeah. much is the property tax increase for first year second year and third year right yeah so um again we're in a two tier municipal structure so you have to like so the city of waterloo's for 2024 our increase when you take into account inflation and some service it level increases it's uh 6.14% for 2024 um but I always think it's really important that people think of the blended rate which is this region of Waterloo, the city of Waterloo and then the education tax portion when you when you put those three together um the the increase for residents in Waterloo is 5.71%. So um, uh, approximately 9200 dollars per year increase for residents. Approximately that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So mayor uh, if we talk about the crime scenario because we have seen the across canada the, the crime graph has gone up the carjackings gone up so what is the situation in a uh, region of waterloo the arsons the crime what is the scenario there well um so i can i can tell you i mean certainly there's some there's challenges from a you know a policing and crime scenario um but we are i mean a very safe city we're a growing city we're a very diverse city but um you know i met i had a meeting with uh, representatives from the insurance board of canada maybe 3 months ago to talk about the carjackings i mean there are it does occur it's certainly not to the degree that we hear about in some other communities so it's i mean more what um more what we you know hear about on occasion or you know there's some break-ins some robberies and and partly we we do have a quite a substantial um uh post secondary student population some of some of what um the, the way the police describe what happens are crimes of convenience where unfortunately some people don't lock their doors so bikes laptops things like that are stolen out of people's apartments um that's kind of more the type of crime that uh that that I'm aware of that happens in Waterloo certainly there's you know our our regional police are working on you know human trafficking and the and the issues with um you know the ongoing drug trade and things like that um but um but certainly I I mean that's it's not something that people raise the issues around crime are not things that people raise with me very regularly at all okay so because the other cities we know that every 5 minutes in canada every 5 minutes one car is uh, got stolen in canada and canada is one of the biggest source for these um, uh, organized crime this st- mm-hmm. steal cars from canada and the yeah. other cities the gta the region of peel the the british columbia it's a crime uh, in terms of carjacking and other crimes is very high so you are lucky yeah. that if uh, the carjacking scenario is not not that serious in uh, waterloo region 
Yeah, I mean, as I said, I know that it happens, um, yeah. certainly not to the extent and to the degree that what you just described from yes. some other communities. Mm -hmm. uh, Mayor, what are the biggest challenges city of Waterloo faces? Being a mayor, what are the biggest challenges you have in front of you? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, I think I think like a lot of communities, the housing challenge is is really prominent. Um, we need we we're a really growing city. We're about one hundred and fifty one thousand right now. Plus, we've got about fifty to sixty thousand post secondary students. So we're in the you know just over two hundred thousand people that live in our city. So housing and and a safe, affordable, attainable housing for people of all income levels. Um, that that certainly is one of our biggest challenges that we're facing. And we we're really pleased um, just last Friday, um, we had the prime minister in in, our, in Waterloo and we re were receiving $22 million from the federal government. And so uh, I'm really excited about the opportunities that the city will have now to kind of take a bit more control of the housing challenges uh, more directly. So we're going to be looking at options of, you know, the potential to use some of our, maybe convert some of our employment lands, maybe use some of the land that the city owns to to look at opportunities for building some some more affordable and attainable housing. But housing is certainly very much top of the list. I think affordability is also a, a challenge for a lot of people. Um, but we hear a lot from our residents too about climate change and the need for um, certainly the municipality to, to take a leadership role in addressing um, yeah, issues like issues regarding um, um, you know being more mindful of how we're how we're using energy, saving costs on energy, re driving down our our GHG emissions and things like that. Uh, Mayor, uh, every city police uh, they need more resources and more budget to control the crime. <laughs> Uh, is uh, any kind of demand from the city of Waterloo Police or regional police? Um, did you had anything for that? For the police forces, any budget increase or is the same for them? Oh, no, the budget increase for the police um, last year and this year as well was uh, pretty substantial. Our police um, annual police budget for the entire region of Waterloo is in the neighborhood of about um, $230 million dollars just on the operating side, um, they are in the process of hiring. Because we're such a growing community, the police are in the process over last year and the, ne the next two years of hiring 55 more officers. Um, so um, they're, they're working hard on that. I mean, the labor piece is challenging for the police to find the people they need, but that's, you know, uh, that's a challenge sort of across the board. Um, but in terms of, um, in terms of, you know what the municipality is looking for from the provincial government as well as the federal government is i think you probably know like we we use a property tax system that do, just does not is not set up to respond to the kind of complexities and the challenges that municipalities face so in the with the federal and the provincial budget um budgets coming up what municipalities like waterloo and others are asking the province and the federal government for are, is a new fiscal funding framework um, because we just we need we need to have more provincial and federal support for for to address some of the challenges that municipalities are facing, particularly around social housing, homelessness, encampments, some of the mental health issues. I mean, municipalities are having to take on those roles, and 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 quite frankly, the property tax system um, wasn't set up and was not designed to be able to fund those kind of services. So that's a big challenge that uh, Waterloo and other municipalities are facing. So in the end, uh, what final message you want to share with the residents of Waterloo? Well, um, I think that we, Waterloo is a city that's uh, growing. We're uh, very much an urbanizing city. We're a city that uh, is investing in itself in response to you know um, what residents have told us they're looking for. I was really pleased in this budget process to see that we are going to we're going to make the city more accessible for people who have mobility challenges. We're offering more inclusion services through our recreation and our programs um, and things of that nature. And we really are trying to respond to sort of the diversifying nature of our city. So, um, 
yeah, Waterloo, we 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 did in a, in a in a really challenging fiscal environment. We really did our best that we could to balance the needs of a growing community. Um, and uh, yeah, and we certainly look forward to hearing from residents about uh, you know ideas, opportunities, and uh, and uh, challenges that they're experiencing, so that we can continue to represent them well. Uh, Mayor, thank you very much uh, for uh, taking our questions, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It's nice to see you again.